My name is Sivile Mahiti and I grew up in PE. I am the firstborn of three and I'm the first grandchild, so I have had a lot of responsibilities growing up. I love the feeling of, you know, achieving something, that feeling of achieving. I think that's where I get my purpose from. In high school, I didn't have any commerce background, but when I went to varsity, I was introduced to maths, economics, and all the other modules, and I drew interest in economics. In a location, you know, back in the rural areas, you don't really have people to look up to because you don't really see doctors, you don't really see accountants, there's no one around, you know? I want to know how can I make it in life? I want to know how do I reach that goal, you know, of buying a house cash, of buying a car cash? How can I make my life better? How can I make my family's life better? And so you want to study something that will help you achieve those goals. So I would say that yes, um, you know, my background did fuel, you know, fuel my interest and fuel my motivation towards what I wanted to study. And I must say that I am in the correct field. I love what I do. I love, you know, checking out the market and seeing how investors, you know, investors' investments do and having to go to a client and get their goals, their financial goals and helping them meet those goals. So it's all about generating wealth so that everyone that comes behind you has enough to sustain them for the long term and then they can just take that down to the next generation. And I think that's the chain that I'm really working so hard to break. Being the first, you know, it was it's amazing, um, it feels great, but it also comes with responsibilities because you still have people looking up to you and you have to watch everything that you do because they're still looking. Um, they're looking at the achievements and they're also looking at the mistakes that you do. My siblings, they're all motivated by what, by what I'm doing. I find them asking me questions, you know, about studies and about which subjects they should take and, you know, anything that has to do with their future and their studies, they come to me first before they even go to my parents because they know that, you know, my sister has done this well, you know, she's doing this and they can see it for themselves, what I've achieved and where I am and how I take school, you know, I take school really seriously. I think. That's my biggest achievement. And they come to me with you know, anything that's school related and anything that has to do with their goals in the long term. You're not doing it for yourself, you're doing it for the other people that are growing up with you as well. I'd, I'd like to have resources and like to have you know, the funds to assist, you know, to assist people who also need the system that I got to when I was in varsity. Knowing that I've achieved so much and I've, I've, I've been through so many challenges, um, it's just, it's, it's fueled me into wanting to achieve more and I know I can achieve more because I'm already where I am because of being the first and because of having, you know, the assistance from the Matsepe Foundation. I want to be that person in the family that, you know, that shows them that it's possible.